Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Jan and in this video series you will learn how to get your Anycubic i3 Mega down from this volume. To this volume. In the first part we will swap the pre-installed drivers for much quieter TMC2208 drivers, we will install a new fan duct and a quieter fan to cool the drivers better and get the 3D printer quieter. In the second part, we will replace the entire power supply cover and the power supply fan. In the third and last part we will change the fan of the o -tent. Let's get started. This is the second part of the video series, so we will replace the entire power supply cover and the power supply fan. For this video you need a fan with the dimensions 92x 92x 14mm. I chose the Noctua NFA 9x 14PWM with 12V because I believe this is one of the quietest fans. However, they are also very expensive. From the box you now need the fan and the mounting rubbers. It is also better if you have an adapter to solder the plus and minus of the fan to another cable. Such a cable is for example included in the fan duct we used for the drivers in the first part. First, print out the new power supply cover with your 3D printer. If you can't slice the model in your slicing software, you will need to change the distance and thickness of the skirt because the model fits on the Anycubic i3 Mega. To change the distance and width of the skirt, Go to the build plate adhesion settings and check skirt line count and skirt distance. After that you change both values so long that you can slice the 3D model. In the video description you will find a link to download the 3D model. If you want to support me, you can make me a price offer, what you are willing to pay for the 3D model. Of course you can also download it for free and support me with a subscription and a like. Now pull the power supply plug out of your 3D printer and loosen the following four screws on the top of the 3D printer. Then turn your 3D printer over and open the cover by removing all 10 screws. The next step is to completely remove the four screws you loosened at the beginning. You should hold the power supply while doing this. Then take out the power supply as I show you here. Remove the following two screws. Open the power supply cover and disconnect the fan connector. This can take some time and patience, since the connector is glued. You should also be very careful here, as you should not break the connector, as you will need it again later. Now prepare the 3D printed power supply cover for installation in the 3D printer by carefully inserting the mounting rubbers into the four holes provided. Then you put the fan on the mounting rubbers and pull the mounting rubbers upwards so that the fan holds well. Next, you need to connect the fan to the power supply. 
Cut off a part of the cable from the old fan and solder it to the cable of the new fan. After screwing the two mounting screws to the power supply, the power supply is ready to be installed in the 3D printer. The installation is a bit fiddly, because everything is rather tight. It's best if you do it the way I did. I try to push the power supply as far to the left as possible when pushing it up. Once you have the power supply in the right position, you have to tighten it with the four screws you loosened at the top at the beginning. The last step is to close the cover again. In the first part we will replace the pre-installed drivers with TMC2208 drivers, install a new fan and a fan duct. In the third and last part we will change the fan of the O10. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for free. Please comment down below if you have any questions or ideas.